Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and uh, I'm going to show how you can create junction stop valve in the uh, assembly design workbench in KTRV5. So uh, I'm going to open up assembly design workbench here and uh, to start off I'm going to insert the first component under the product. So let me locate the junction stop valve part files and in this this is going to be the first part of our assembly so I'm going to fix the first part and I'm going to insert fix and fix the first part so as I'm done with that the second object that I require to insert is the valve seat so I'm going to insert existing component with positioning and I'll click on the product and I'll double click on the wall seat so that we have a small window for the smart move so I'm going to snap this particular uh, you know, axis and I'm going to click on OK once I'm done with that I'm going to insert this particular object before that I'll move this I'll manipulate with respect to the constraint I'm going to move it up and uh, I'm going to show the software that I need to insert this particular part on this particular portion here so once I'm done with that I'll do the update and the part goes and stays over there so uh, in between you can go to the front view and you can have a look of uh, you know, where the object is being placed. So our object is properly placed over here. So I'll come back to the normal view. So as you can see over here, this is how the object is placed. So once you're done with that, you need to insert the next part, that is the uh, valve. So I'm going to insert existing component with positioning. So I'll click on the product, positioning, make sure you're inserting the uh, objects in the product one. So the next one is uh, valve three, and you need to, again, specify the the axis and uh, this axis right here and then click on OK and then you go to the edit move manipulate and the Z axis go to the front view supposed to move this down and from this particular view you can uh, keep the object go to the wireframe mode go to the front view and place it exactly on this position and lock its position with the fix command So once you're done with that, you have your uh, half of your uh, assembly being done over here. So the next part being inserted is going to be the valve holder. So go to the insert existing component with positioning under the product valve holder. So you're going to click on the axis. And then click on OK, edit mode manipulate and pull it up and then you need to keep this component straight up over here so I'm going to use the uh, contact constraint I'm done with that. I'll up 
update the uh, assembly and from the side view we'll have a loop on it and uh, our assembly is perfect here so I'll come to the normal solid view <coughs> so you can uh, hide the body so that you can uh, have a proper look on your assembly so the next object that you're supposed to insert uh, is uh, you can insert the pin so before inserting the pin you need to insert one more object so let me just do that valve spindle and I'll specify the axis for this and uh, you can swap the direction like this click on OK and you can manipulate on the z-axis click on OK and uh, you need to do the coin side command for this so update it's being updated so keep watching for the complete assembly of our uh, jun uh, junction stop valve in the assembly design workbench so uh, i hope you enjoyed my video and i hope this uh, tutorial is helping you a lot in the assembly and uh, as well as getting an idea about the designing of a junction stop valve so the basic uh, operation of a junction stop valve is to regulate the flow of a fluid and divert its uh, direction of flow as well. The junction stop valve, um, as you know, are often mounted directly on the boilers to control the flow of a steam from it. So <coughs> uh, I hope uh, you know this video tutorial is helping you a lot and. Uh, uh, you can give me the feedbacks, doubts, clarifications uh, uh, to my, uh, uh, you know, to my inbox on YouTube or uh, directly on my mailbox. That is, s h a a k z s c a t i a b five online checks b five online at gmail dot com. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching.